Hello all you scleral lens masters and masters in the making. I'm Steve Cogger with AccuLens and today we are going to talk about the Maxim scleral lens fit set and how to utilize it properly so you can reduce chair time, become more successful fitting scleral lenses. So if you already have this fit set, kind of know what you're looking at. Top row here are 15 9 diameter lenses, bottom row 16 4. Let's keep it simple, smaller corneas that fit a smaller lens, larger corneas that fit a larger lens. Um, there is a fit guide here when you're initially fitting the lens. If you just need a, uh, the right choice of lens to fit based on this, based on the corneal condition, you can start there. Uh, if you've learned from myself or you've visited the lab or one of our other consultants, um, we also teach you about looking at the elevation of the cornea. So just eyeball it from the side and get a gauge on is that cornea really elevated or is it really not? And that will help you also decide which lens to start with. So what I want to talk about today is after you have that initial lens on, what if it doesn't look that good? Where do you go from there? Well, we're gonna dive into the numbers on these sets here. So across this top row, all the sag values are written right here, right below. So you can kind of guess, use, not guess, use math right there. Um, figure out, you know, if you need to pull out 300 microns out of the lens, you know your sag value of that lens, which one would you go to there? Well, I'm gonna make it even simpler for you today. This top row, the difference between each lens is about 150 microns. Yeah, give or take 10 microns, 20 microns maybe. But let's be honest, 10 microns? Come on, the human hair is 90 microns. So, you know, for guessing between 10, 20 microns, not that big of a deal. So each of these considered a 150 micron difference between each lens, whether you're going steeper or whether you're going flatter. On the larger lenses, they're 16.4 diameter. They have a larger back optic zone, wider cord length. Therefore, when we change the curvature on these lenses, the difference between each lens is about 200 microns. So if you want to really keep it simple, you can just think of each lens has about 200 microns difference. If you want to be a little more specific, about 150 microns difference on a 15-9 row, about 200 microns difference between each lens on the 16-4 row. Now, here's one thing that's not written on this set. Once you change our diameter of the lens, the sag value, you can't really compare it anymore. It's like apples and oranges. So when you are changing diameter, know that between each base curve, if you stick with the same base curve, and just go to the other diameter, you're gonna also effectively change the sag value on the eye of about 200 microns. What that means is say you put on the 750-15-9 lens and it looks really good centrally, but you're looking at our limbal curve indicators, you're looking at that limbal clearance, don't have that much there, so you think, man, that lens is a little small, I need to go to a bigger lens. The central clearance look good and you just go right to the 750-16-4, you've effectively increased that central clearance another 200 microns. So let's keep this real simple. I like the 750 centrally. I just need a little better limbal clearance. I'm going to go down to the 16.4, but I'm not going to keep the 750 because that's going to have 200 microns too much clearance. I'm just going to move over to the 767. Take out that extra 200 microns. That lens should fit perfectly. Um, and same goes in the opposite direction. If you think the lens is too big, but your central clearance was good, you might want to go to the smaller lens, but then maybe go one steeper to gain the or to put back that 200 microns that you lose from going smaller. So just to recap here, think of this row, 150 microns difference between each lens. This row, 200 microns difference between each lens. If you change diameter, you're effectively gonna affect the, um, the, the sagittal depth of the lens as it appears over the cornea by another 200 microns as well. So knowing this is gonna drastically reduce your chair time. So let's take an example here. You put a lens on, let's say you put on the, let's say the 734, 164, and whoa, you way overshot. You got like 700 microns of clearance. Well, if you just go down to the 750 lens, that's just gonna pull out 200 microns. So you're still left with like 500 microns. So jump over to the 767, go two over. That's gonna pull out about 400 microns out of there. That's gonna put you in a much better spot for that fit. Um, so knowing this and understanding how this set works, it's really gonna help you reduce your chair time, make your patients happier faster, less diagnostic lenses you have to put on the eye. Um, and I hope you found this helpful. Hey, eye care providers. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel so you can get updated anytime we put out new lens tips. And if you're not fitting AccuLens yet, what are you waiting for? Give us a call, 800-525-2470. We'd love to talk to you about all our innovative lens designs including our on-point multifocal system and all the custom options we can make for you and your patients.